On this filming trip, I'm in Chobe, Botswana, working with Pangolin Photo Safaris. We are spending most of our time on Pangolin's boats, capturing the incredible wildlife that congregates along the banks of the river. Good morning, it's 5.30 a.m. I'm at the Cape Town International Airport about to fly to Chobe River in Botswana where I'll be joining the Pangolin photo guys for two weeks filming um, mostly from their beautiful boats on the river maybe a bit of driving around as well in the Chobe National Park I've got about a lot of luggage a lot of gear. I'm all by myself this time, unfortunately, but hopefully I'll manage. I'm not a big fan of talking to camera, but I've realized that if I've got a mask on, you can't see my mouth. So I can also just film myself not doing anything and then dub it afterwards. So I might do that. The advantage of this method for me is that I don't have to look like an idiot talking to a camera in an elevator. And the advantage for you is, of course, that I will be far more eloquent and knowledgeable than I am in real life. My flight to Botswana is nearly empty. The Omicron COVID variant was recently discovered and the travel bans from the UK and other countries have really impacted the already ailing tourism industry. As the plane descends towards Kasani International Airport, I see the Chobe River in the distance. In the foreground is the Chobe National Park, and on the far side of the river is the Caprivi Strip, which is part of Namibia. After I land, I go through customs and immigration at Kasani's rather fancy little airport. I jump in a car and we head across to the Pangolin Chobe Hotel. Then I quickly set up my equipment and head out onto the river. Okay, we're here on the river on one of Pangolin's beautiful boats. Um, all set up here, I've got my main camera on a tripod so I can move it to either side of the boat. I'm shooting on the Ursa Mini Pro 12K again. And then on the front of the boat, I've got my stabilizer arm and the red Komodo underneath that. So I'll show you some more details later, but right now we are looking for whatever we can find to film. It's early December now, which is the green season. This means there's always a chance of thunder showers when we are out filming. But I think that is easily made up for by the beautiful skies, the abundance of baby animals, and most of all, the incredible bird life.
Okay, we're heading home. I've just picked up my, my time-lapse camera. Uh, we've got to get out uh, the park before 7, so we're heading back to the jetty. And yeah, see you tomorrow.